I remember when I was seven years old, I was in my mom's car and we were driving to get tortillas from the store. It was a warm summer day and I remember the birds singing. We were laughing as we coasted down the interstate. Something splattered on the windshield. It was bird excrement. I wonder now if they were trying to send me a message. As I lay there unconscious, he laughed at me. Laughed with those beady eyes staring at my soul. Is he here for a reason? Or am I just insane? I try telling myself I'm not crazy. That these things are really happening to me. Why can't I just be normal? They think I'm crazy. They're trying to keep me in. I need help. Please. Somebody help me. Oh God! Where's my phone? Where's my phone? My phone. I need help! I need help! Hello, 911. What is your emergency? The birds! They got in my room! I don't know how! They were in the birds! Sir, sir, please slow down. If you have an emergency, I'm gonna need you to calm down and just slow down a little bit so I can help you. I can't slow down! They're gonna get me! Listen to me! Sir, I don't appreciate that kind of language. Now, if you have an emergency, please tell me what it is. I already told you the birds are attacking me! I think they're trying to weld my door shut! They're doing, gonna do something with my door! Please hold for the next available operator. Oh, fuck it! The window! Even the authorities, those who serve and protect, even they couldn't help me. It became apparent to me that help from traditional means would never come. And the whole time I was in the bathtub, afraid for my life, I could still hear him laughing, standing outside my door. I didn't know which to fear more, leaving my room or staying here with the birds. I needed help, and I was going to find it.